Hello everyone, this is Do Dreamer. So yes, I'm in my car enjoying my one hour lunch break from work. And then I got a notification from Truly Indie Studios. And pretty much the second episode of Six Feet Down Under has been finally released. And I've been waiting for so long for this episode because I wanted to know what's going to happen next to Mick, to Vinny, to Nico, to Jagger, and also Tatiana Dector's character and also Brian Suskin's character as well. So I was like curious to see what's going to happen and also Vernon Wells' character who is actually um, the father of Nico who is a crime boss. I want to know what's going on with him as well. And I would give you guys a summary of the first episode, but I kind of want you guys to watch it for yourselves because I don't want to ruin things for you guys, you know what I mean? So before watching my reaction to the second episode, please go to Truly Indie Studios and watch the first episode first so you get an idea of what's going on, all right? Okay, but anyway, um, like I said, I've been waiting for this episode for so long and I would love to do it at my house, but I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to watch this and I couldn't wait to react to this for Truly Indie Studios because they say they love my reactions, that I give them good feedback, so I'd rather do it now than later. And it's the second episode, guys. And like I said, it's an awesome show. You guys should actually watch it. And what's interesting about this episode, and I've seen some behind-the-scenes um, photos and stuff, that Yoshi Sadarso, if you're a Power Rangers fan, he's Coda on Dino Charge, uh, Power Rangers Dino Charge, and I think Dino Supercharge, I believe he's in there. But he's in this episode. And you also may have seen him in a few... Bat in the Sun episodes where he played Spider-Man or doing the stunt double for Aaron Shunka as Spider-Man. And also just recently, he played Keith of the Voltron Force for one, um, not one minute matchup, minute matchups. And I was glad that Voltron won and I was so happy. And he also did the, uh, the stunt work for the Red Ranger as well. So this guy is good and I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot of stuff going down in this one so i can't wait to watch this and like i said i'm a big fan of truly indie studios sean piccinino guy grundy tatiana dector and even brian suskin and i just can't wait to see this and i can't wait to see what anthony apollo has in store for Vinny's character in this one as well and from the looks of the behind the scenes it's probably gonna be a firefight you know like a you know gunfight and whatnot so i can't wait to see this but anyway i'm gonna react to this right here right now and before you Watch my reaction. Please go to Truly Indie Studios YouTube channel to watch the episode for yourself first. And then you can come back to watch my reaction, okay? So please support the official release. All the links are in the video description. All right. And here we go. Pro Fight Films and Truly Indie Studios. Previously on Six Feet Down Under. Oh, they want to give us a summary. Yeah, this is when they were doing that raid. Vinny and Mick was doing a raid, and they found out there was drugs in the, would you believe, the Pro Fight supplements that they are sponsoring. And there's Aaron Shunka. Like I said, if you watched that first episode, he did a great performance as a villain. I love the chemistry between Guy Grundy's character and Aaron Shunka's character. And there's Vernon Wells. And you know, come to think of it, Vernon Wells was in a Power Rangers as Rancic in Time Force. And we have Yoshi Sadarso, who is also in Power Rangers in this. So we have two Power Ranger alum in this um, episode. That's so awesome. And this was the best part. Of the episode, so ruthless and dangerous. Yeah, they didn't show that part, so you have to watch it for yourself. Target is a Jagger. Twenty year old. I have a few loose ends to tie up. So I want to know what those loose ends are. I'll come find you. But I know he's probably putting the head on um mech or something like that. The devils come home. What devils? Looks like it's a hotel. 
Oh, there's Sean, this Jagger. Looks like he's gonna assassinate somebody. Okay, he's going in. Who's, whose room is he going into? Oh. Yep, yep. I'm gonna assume this. When it comes to Jagger's character, and you're in that world of, you know, whatever world that you're a part of, you see his face, you're already dead, pretty much. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, that, that face. Face, man. Why? Why? <laughs> one one. Oh yeah. Please just fucking break his neck with his fucking kick. Oh my! This guy has no. He has no soul, man. Damn, he's scary. <laughs> Sean, you are one scary motherfucker when you come to playing Jagger. Jesus, man. Aaron Shunka. Tatiana Dector. Sean Piccinino. Anthony Apello. Oh, I oh yeah, Alvin Singh is going to be in this too. If you don't know who Alvin Singh is, um, he was did multiple appearances on Super Mario Beatdown for Bat in the Sun. He actually played uh, the fight choreography as the White Ranger with White Ranger versus uh, Scorpion, and he also did the costume fight scenes as the Green Ranger in Ryu versus the Green Ranger. So. They have a lot of big names in this from the internet, guys. So, like I said, go watch the first episode so you can get up to speed and see the action for yourself. And you'll definitely be hooked. I hope you guys watched it before watching my reaction. You better. Support this release, guys. Come on. Alright, there's Vinny and Mick. Got another um, pro fight plug. I think he's talking about uh, Nico's uh, little agenda. Uh, there's Vernon Wells' character, I know that, because I remember from the uh, behind-the-scenes uh, stuff. wonder if he's going to tell him about the... Welcome, gentlemen. You're right. Join me for a drink? Oh, I'm good. Thank you, sir. It's a little too early for me, Mr. Ryan. That's I insist. Name. I listen Please. to Please. Call me Mason. Mason. Mr. Ryan. So pretty much these these guys must be really loyal and and really up there to be on first name basis with their boss. Remember my eldest son, Nico. Jason, right? Oh, Jason. Of course. He was a good soldier. Damn shame what happened to him, sir. Mm-hmm. And those bastards. Why do I think they left me? Is it Kumakai? Sounds like a, an Asian um, crime syndicate or something like that. That's what it sounds like. So that's the case we're going to see a lot of uh, martial arts ass kicking. Alexander Olabi. He can't 
contract of some of the Yakuza after <laughs> the Yakuza we ran the devils out of town. Yakuza now he's invited the sons of bitches back. So is all up coming after Russ Boss. Perhaps he wants to make his move. Perhaps he just wants to get under my skin. Let me tell you something. The Yakuza are not something, not, not a group of people you want to mess with. I, I swore on my boy's grave. No more drug deals. Just tell us what to do. Of course, go there and kick ass. I want you. Say it. They're gonna whip some ass! Take some names and some heads. Hello. Oh my god. Um I don't know how I feel about this. This is kinda weird. Seeing Tatiana and Aaron under the sheets. I don't know how I feel about that. But it is acting, you know what I mean? It is acting. Ooh. Jagger. So I'm here to see you, I presume? Your client. I'm sorry. How did you... Mr. Orloff's daughter. That is an interesting choice. <laughs> who is he, and why does he know who I am? That's right. When did you come in here? Jagger here is going to help us get rid of some obstacles. When the hell did you get in there? That's all I like to know. Dude, you ruined it there, Paul. No, couldn't have met somewhere else. Maybe at a coffee shop or something. I told you I'd come find you. Besides, don't drink coffee. Hey, 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 hey. Don't scare me. And why should I? My business is not with you. Not yet. We can't afford for anyone to find out about us. Okay. Please don't kill him, please. Please. Please, please don't kill him. Please don't tell anyone about us. Yeah? Well, I don't like the face on his head. I love his face. Trust him. But you don't scary one, but I love his face. Trust please don't kill him, please. Okay. Easy. Uh, Easy. There we go. Fine. You better be right about this one. He's trustworthy. Not really, but I just don't want him to die just yet. No. I don't know if he's gonna die in this I'm series. Going to do this job. It'll be my way and my time. This needs to get done quickly. But it's not how I do business. If you want it done fast and sloppy, well then we can part ways now. Fine, fine, okay. We can do it. Your way, okay? Mm -hmm. I just want you to take everything that he loves and bury it. Okay, I want his rotting corpse six feet down under. Ah! Uh, it's possible, right? The smack of yours. Said the, uh, the, the namesake of the... ...isn't easily killed. But... ...it can't be done. Uh, I didn't say who the mark was. Was I wrong? It's, I think it's... I think it's... I've observed Nick. your father's fondness for him. Someone in your position in the family would see someone like Mick as a threat. Ooh, he wants Mick dead. I know it is. I always do my homework, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> Mr. Ryan is my father. That's just where you are respectfully wrong. If I do this job on my way, people will be calling you Mr. Ryan soon enough. Whoa. Even the father? Dude. But, well, he does have his own okay. account. We got a deal. <sighs> it's all about power, man. It appear that we do. It's all about power, Fine, man. Father, I'll set it up. Of course I will use a secure line. Man, 
Katya looks gorgeous. My father has agreed to the terms. The deal is on. What deal? Make the exchange happen tonight. Oh, Yoshi! Very funny. Things are about to get real interesting. Oh boy. And I think that's Brian, I think. Brian Lee, I think. That was behind her. I've seen some of his stuff, you know, some of his demonstration. The guy is no fucking joke. That's the place. Yep. This Another shameless nice. plug for pro fighting pro fight supplements. Let's go get that son of a bitch. Yeah. Mason. So it's you, just you two against those guys. Oh boy. It's been a long time, Ichi. You sure you're still a Kumakai? Kumakai. And there's Alvin. Being loaned out to Orlov means nothing. Looks like we're getting the band back together. I don't know, man. Yes. Shall we do business? There we go. Shotguns. <laughs> that's a sick. That's a mixed signature weapon right there. Oh fuck! If these guys can take these guys out, just the two of them, I don't want to mess with these guys at all. I mean, I've seen them take out the first large group. Kill, kill, kill. Such sloppy work. Kill. Kill. Oh. Like I said, sloppy. You're old man Ryan's dog, aren't you? Don't call me dog. <laughs> Isn't this our lucky day? Mm hmm. Back in town for one day, and we've got a new business venture, and we get to take down two. Something. That wouldn't be any fun at all. No fight. I used to have so much fun putting down Ryan's dogs. Missed it. When was the last time I go? Um, oh, oh. Oh, uh, Jason Ryan. Looks like this one's got a soft spot for him. Hmm? You're gonna wanna put your guns down now. Shoot them out. Why we do that? Shoot them out. Shoot them out. Bullshit, don't listen to them. Shoot them now, shoot them now. Whoa! Hope they can handle themselves with the, the, they, the numbers game is gonna be bad for Vinny and Mech. Yep. Oof. Come on, man. Come on, Mac. Come on, Vinny. You guys can handle this. Switch up for the blade. What the fuck? Woo. Oh, come on, Vinny. Oh, oh my god, we have Brian, Alvin, and Yoshi in there. Shit. Oh! Jesus, that impact, man. And people say Guy Gundy can't box. What the fuck? Oh, there's Yoshi, excuse me. One of them's Brian, I know. You fun? <laughs> Shut up to die today. Yeah. For real, man. Oh! 
pull, dirty pull, nice takedown. And then Vinny taking on both of them at once. Ooh, nice hip toss. Oh, 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 Break it, break it, break it. You need to jump in there. Really. <laughs> You're gonna need to jump in there, dude. <laughs> All right, two against one now. Here we go. I'm a little bit worried about this guy. Yeah, get that gun out. Are you saying no guns, man, you piece of shit? Shoot him now! Shoot him now! Shoot him now! Fuck! That was fun. You should do it again sometime. Let him go. Let him go. You get him next time. Please don't die, Vinny. Please don't die. You're okay. Not yet. Yeah. Took one in the vest, man. Oh god, good god. What a cliffhanger, man. What a fucking cliffhanger right there, man. I can't wait to see what happens next. Oh. I want you to bring me that last Ichi's head. Cut. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody for watching this, our latest episode of Six Feet Down Under. Thank you so much for tuning in. It means the world to us that you, you, you watch our show amount of support that we've been getting it, it, it's it truly is amazing and we do appreciate it mm. thank you uh, and it also wouldn't be possible without our amazing sponsors and producers of the show from pro fight sports for the wonderful supplements that they have provided i personally drink the protein shake every morning to keep me strong like today and this little pre-workout yeah it was like brian lee was in to there go through the day when we're filming some intense action scenes and I need to make sure that I have a lot of energy and stamina to, you know, get all that stuff done. Uh, and also, another uh, sponsor uh, of our show is uh, this amazing band that uh, I think one of our stars might uh, oh, be the singer of this band. Perhaps that would be Six Gun Cell. Oh, Six Gun Cell. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Oh, that's, that's uh, Anthony. Check the music time. out, Anthony. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Already liked. Really I'm already subscribed. Comments. And I'm what definitely going to share this. We do love you guys before I was posting my you uh, reaction. See you, Tatiana. I will. Damn it, I will. Okay. My question is, what happened to Brian Suskin's character? That's what I want to know. I, I wasn't sure they are going to talk about that, you know, or discuss that, you know what I mean? So, anyway, oh my god. What a ride. And I can't wait for the third episode. I, I wish they can drop these episodes in, out as soon as possible. But I know it takes time money and resources to do these types of shows and but you know sometimes producing and creating art like this sometimes the longer the better the better chance it's going to be great and this episode was awesome i loved every moment like i said i was a little bit curious to know what happened with brian suskin's character um they didn't um get into that very much but we'll probably see it in the third episode 
Um, a lot of, uh, like I said, you saw my reaction when I, I didn't want Vinny to die, you know, but I'm glad he had that bulletproof vest. And um, again, Jagger is one scary motherfucker. You know what I mean? He is very freaking scary. I mean, just that stone cold face. He has no remorse to what he does. I mean, he is a professional, guys. And Yoshi's character. Mm, that, that, I, is someone I don't want to fucking mess with either. So there's two characters I don't want to mess with. Jagger and Yoshi's character. I, I didn't catch his name, you know, because I was just so into what I'm seeing and stuff like that. But, yeah, so pretty much the whole premise so far is that this group pretty much killed um, Mason Ryan's son, Jason. And I thought he was going to talk about Nico, but no. Uh, so we might see more of this down the line man and um again we're trying to figure out what nico's agenda is i know it has something to do with mick you know i know he doesn't like mick very much and we saw that in the first episode so um everything was great the acting the dialogue um and like i said it was so suspenseful to see those two go in there you know i actually was fearing for their lives you know even though these guys both Vinny and Mick were such badasses and the fact that they were actually able to take down that whole group by themselves is something. The only thing is that Yoshi's character uh is dangerous as fuck. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens guys in the next episode. And also Tatiana's character, um curious about her, what she has to do with this whole agenda thing with Nico and stuff. So they're leaving out a lot for us to discuss and debate about and also predict. So they're not giving us everything all at once. That's what I like. So it's gripping. It makes you want to go and watch the next episode. And we're going to wait for a while, but I don't care. You know, I will gladly wait, guys. I will gladly wait. So the crew of Truly Indie Studios, awesome job again with this episode. And I can't wait for the third episode. So, guys, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you enjoy it? What are some things that you have questions about? And what do you think the fate's going to happen, you know, in this one? Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you guys think and we got to discuss and debate about it. And, guys, please remember to go to Truly Indie Studios, like their Facebook page. Also follow them on Twitter and subscribe to their YouTube channel. All the links are in the video description. And also they have a Patreon. So I'll leave a link to that as well where you can be a Patreon, a patron for them because it's just, you know, give some money to them. You know, it could be $1, $10 and stuff. And there are a lot of good uh, perks for that when you pledge for amount of money. I'm actually a Patreon, uh, patron for their channel so i'm actually happy to do that because i want to support them any way i can all right guys and also if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on twitter all the links are in the video description all right guys this is do a dreamer and always dream big